Hey everyone, welcome back to Art of the Cart, and I am in the festive spirit, getting ready for all the fun holidays of Thanksgiving and Christmas. There are several things that I associate with the Christmas season, like decorating, Christmas carols, presents under the tree, nativity scenes, hot chocolate, and snow. Where we grew up, there was always a really good chance of a white Christmas. Where I live now, not so much. Every once in a while we'll get a dusting of snow, but it's, it's not a for sure thing. So I really, really enjoy when I get to go someplace that has snow. When I can't go someplace that has snow, I like to draw snow. So in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to draw a super duper cute snowman. So let's get started. So to draw my super duper cute snowman, I'm going to actually use two different circles. And the first one's actually going to be larger than the bottom one. So I'm going to have the top one be larger. So I'm just going to Sketch that out right there. And again, I'm using the how to draw a circle technique that I teach in my how to draw a circle video. So if you're having troubles drawing circles, um, just look through my video archives and you'll find my how to draw a circle technique. And so I'm gonna get that kind of finalized out there. I'm gonna put a little bit of a weight to the bottom. I don't want it to be flat, but just a little bit of weight so it's not as round at the bottom as it is um, the rest of the way around. And then I'm going to put another little circle shape here and I'm going to make it a little bit smaller. Just like that. And I'm definitely going to have a little bit of weight at the bottom here. So here is my snowman shape. I know it's not the, the traditional three you know circles that you would have, but since this is a super cute little snowman, we're just going to use these two right here. Now it's time to go ahead and decorate our snowman. And so I'm gonna go ahead and give him a kind of a stocking cap. So I'm gonna cut this top circle in half with a rounded circle, I don't, or a rounded line. I don't wanna have it just a straight across because it's going to make hit the circle look flat. But if I can put a bit of a curve to it, it's going to round this shape up a little bit and uh, give it a little bit more dimension. This is going to be the bottom part of his little stocking cap. And because I want it to look like it has a little bit of uh, fabric to it, I'm going to kind of bring out the sides a little bit because this is where his the snowball of his head is, but I want the cap to be sitting on top of it. So it's going to come out a little bit on the sides here. And then I'm going to follow this line up here. So it's going to go the same kind of curve, but up just a little bit higher and come and connect those lines right there. And you'll see that this line comes down here and it goes in behind his snowball head. And so when I race this line, it's actually gonna look like this is wrapping in and around his head there. So now I'm gonna put in his snow, or the top of his snow cap. And again, I don't wanna just draw it in on this line because I want it to look like there's a little bit of volume with the fabric. I'm gonna bring that out and then up to the top of his little, little snowy head. And you can design whatever kind of little cap you would like. And then whatever kind of little a decoration, if you want like a little um, kind of a fringe or if you want a pom-pom or you know jingle bell or whatever it is you'd like on top there. I'm just gonna put just kind of a little nub right up here. So right now, I'm gonna work on this head just a little bit. I'm gonna square this off just a little bit more to give him some little bit more of cheeks. And I'm putting in his little eyes, so I'm putting some black pieces of coal, one right there, and one right there. And because they're pieces of coal, they don't have to be completely shaped. You can put a little bit of an angle to them. And I'm going to put a little circle in there for the shine, and then I can color the rest of this in right here. Now I want to give him a really cute little uh, carrot nose. So I'm going to just put like a little uh, kind of curve line on the side. And then I'm going to draw this out to be like a triangle, but not super long. Just like that. Just a very cute little carrot. And you can kind of give it some little ridges around there to make it look a little more like a carrot. And then you could put either little coal pieces for smiles. I'm just going to actually give him just a cute little smile there. Now, you can just keep on adding whatever you want to your snowman decorate them however you want. You can give them little stick arms if you want. You could put a coat on them. I'm going to put a scarf on this one. So just like I wrapped this band around here, I'm going to wrap another band around here. I'm going to follow this contour line here. Follow this all the way around 
and then put just a little bit of the scarf hanging out underneath it. Put a little bit of a fringe down here, just like that. And then just to finish it off, I'm going to put just a little bit of a snowy hill right here. So there we go. That's pretty much all I'm going to do with him. I might give him, I think the last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to give him a little bit of a decoration. I'm going to give him some little holly berries up here. And then a nice big holly leaf here. And have one kind of coming down over here. So I'm going to go ahead and take my little micron pen. I'm going to go ahead and ink him in and then I can erase the lines that I don't need anymore. his little hat and on a bit of a scarf that I didn't give a solid line. I made it with really small intricate little dots. And you'll see by using these little dots it helps to create kind of um, a texture of kind of fluffy. So you can definitely see the difference between the texture of his snowman-y face and then the fluffiness of this hat. So he's so cute. All he needs is a name and I'm going to name him Franklin. I'm going to give Franklin some color and then I'll be back in a minute or two to show you some other of uh, Franklin's friends. These guys turned out really cute and I've got some fun ideas of what I want to do with these paintings so you might want to keep your eyes open for an upcoming short video announcement of some fun things that I'm planning with these but I hope you have fun creating your own cute snowman I would love to see them so make sure to post them to my Facebook page or Instagram so that you can share all this fun with us as well also, if you live someplace that does get snow or you go someplace that has snow and you have Instagram, please tag me in your Instagram photo so I can see your snowy adventures. I'd love to see that. Or any kind of fun Christmas decorations and holiday fun festivities that you do. Love, love, love it. So that would be fun to see how you and your family celebrate the holidays. Thank you guys so much for joining me in this video. And until next time, God bless you guys and we'll see you later. Bye-bye.